Wu is no more, and the three kingdoms have become two. I have reached the final leg of my journey, and at last my destiny is near. The legacy of my greatest enemy, Cao Cao, still remains. Only by defeating his vast kingdom of Wei can I realize my dream and create a new age of righteousness. This past age has been long and painful, but soon it will all be over. For the forces of good, I will conquer the chaos, and under my rule there shall be no tears. My lord, the final battle with Cao Cao has arrived. While you were fighting at Baidi Castle, I was at the Wuzhang Plains working on strategies against Wei. The enemy fears our spirit for this upcoming battle and has done all they can to strengthen their defenses. We must keep our supply lines intact and use our provisions wisely in order to overrun the enemy position. If we can win this battle, we can realize our plans for a land ruled by virtue under my lord. This battle could be the one to bring an end to the chaos, so we must emerge victorious. Just on the horizon, a great golden age awaits. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to oblige them. We have come a long way. We must protect our supply line. Not enough! Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Get past us, Luis! Oh, my brothers! Such impressive skill! So, my might is not enough! Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail! My lady, preparations are complete, as ordered. We should have no trouble escaping danger with these wood oxen on our side. We will win this battle, and a new era of peace will be born. You shall fail. Crush them.
Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. It's all ready. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. For my brothers! We have brought you to order. Ah, it's here. This is a time for battle. For my brothers! Such impressive skill! Yeah. The catapults are ready, sir! Fire! Fire at will! Leave not a single enemy soldier alive! Prepare to attack! Follow me! Get away with that! For my brothers! Is this the end? Those who stand in the way of... Come for me. Stand in the way of virtue shall fail. If we're fast enough, we can confuse the enemy. I have 
come for your head. You're the enemy commander. Come for your head. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Heavens yeah. above, grant me just a few more hours. Idiots, all of you! Let's see you handle this! For my brothers! Yeah, crush! So this is to be my final battle. Those yeah. who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Juge <laughs> Leong. I shall not forget your final wishes. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and all of the others who have died fighting for our cause. Give me the strength to at last realize my ambitions. Zhuge Liang is dead. All units move to counterattack! For my brothers! That's as far as you go! Eat this! My minister, help me to live up to your goals. Attack once more! For the glory of our prime minister! Damn! It's over already. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Prepare to attack! Follow me! For my brothers! Unfulfilled. Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. Such impressive skill! Fool! You have just chosen the path to your own death! Shall we put an end to all of this? You should have done that in the first place. 
Those who stand in the way of virtue shall fail. like you you stand in the way of a new age of virtue ha you're no better than the rest of us Liu Bei oh, my brothers such foolish times to not make use of my talents those who stand in the way of virtue yeah. shall fail. Thanks to the Prime Minister's brilliant plan, we were able to defeat Wei. All of my men did an excellent job in controlling their grief and fighting against the enemy. The Prime Minister left behind a path toward unification of the land. Now, it is up to those of us left behind to create a new future where the people and the land will not be tempted toward the path to ruin. A new bar this bar It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land. Liu Bei from the Zhuo region. He was an actual descendant of the Han imperial line. When Zhang Jiao started an uprising with his yellow turbans, Liu Bei sought to bring peace back to the land and restore the Han dynasty to its former glory. He destroyed the yellow turbans and toppled Dong Zhuo's reign of terror with his sworn brothers Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. Unfortunately, Liu Bei possessed no territory for which he could establish his own kingdom and was forced to wander the land. However, his destiny changed very quickly after meeting the strategist Zhuge Liang. He followed the strategist accordingly and allied with Wu. The two forces destroyed Cao Cao, advanced into Yi, and captured Liu Zhang. Liu Bei was mobilizing his troops for the next battle when he received word that his sworn brother, Guan Yu, had been killed by Wu. 
Blinded with rage, Liu Bei prepared to avenge Guan Yu, despite his advisors begging him not to. Liu Bei's rage brought about many miraculous victories, which eventually led to the demise of Wu. The land was now divided between Shu and Wei, with the winner set to be decided at the Wuzhang Plains. After a grueling battle, it was Liu Bei who emerged victorious. The long days of chaos had finally come to an end, and peace returned. It is said that Liu Bei was praised and honored by the people for generations to come. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on even today. Guan Yu, Zhang Fei. At last, our journey is finally over. Watch over us in this new age of peace.